Today, after six years of making videos, we finally play some Duesenberg guitars. Woohoo! Yes, sir. What's up everyone? My name is Guillaume. And my name is Chris. Welcome to Thomas Guitars and Basses. And now, after a million years of making a million videos, <laughs> <laughs> we finally thought of it and uh, ordered some Duesenberg guitars from the warehouse and plugged them in. Yes. And uh, I think we need to explain ourselves. <laughs> Because well, there's the obvious question. A lot of yes you guys no. ask for these guitars. That's like, it. Why That's are you it. not playing Duesenberg guitars? Show us some Duesenberg guitars. What do you think about Duesenberg guitars? And we were like, oh, yeah, they're right. We should definitely grab them one day. And uh, we just kept on forgetting it. Because there was something else that was more urgent to shoot, some kind of releases or a subject we wanted to shoot for a long time. Yeah. And it was like, oh, now it's the time. That's true. Um... I don't know why. <laughs> I, don't, I cannot explain why that went under the radar because there's a little bit of a funny, funny story on that. When you, when I was working at the call center, here, yeah, just on the way up to call center, the the poster that's just next to the door. That's true. It's a beautiful it's picture guitar. of that guitar. Yes. And like, yeah. and I've seen it every single day for two and a half years that I was doing that job, and I was like, damn, this is a sexy guitar. Yeah. Like, this is really yeah. looking good. But I think I've played one once in the shop maybe and that was it and i don't know why because now we just pick those up yeah yeah let, uh, wait st stop there stop there stop there let's let's uh, give the guys some uh, some clean tones and then let's get into why we didn't take them or what do we think about these guitars and specs and everything okay. but first let's let's stick to like the first round of sounds which uh, but that should be clean my clean tone or as <laughs> as clean as that's okay, you stop. You stop. Okay, um, I, I go through the uh, the pickup selections. Uh, the first is um, the neck pickup is a P90. In the, uh, in the middle, you have both. And um, in the third position, there's the bridge humbucker, which are all uh, Duesenberg's own pickups. So uh, we'll talk about them later a little more. That is a pretty, pretty progression. Yeah. Thank All right. You. Try something uh, a little bit less pretty. <laughs> Sorry for the interaction. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How can you turn <laughs> off the volume now <laughs> subtly and use the vibrato? Oh, there's so many, so many jokes on <laughs> my wiggle stick and my knob, but I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Thank you. Come Keep it clean. Your <laughs> Come on, your best wiggle stick joke. <laughs> That's no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So, what are these guitars? They're good. You want to start? <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> that's the, the Campbell. Yeah, that's the Mike Campbell uh, model. It is... Uh, it's, it's pretty... 
It's based on the Star Player TV. Yeah. Which, which was a single cut, really. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's semi hollow. So you still have a center block in the middle. That's a maple construction with a, a flame maple uh, top and cap. Uh, no, uh, spruce. Spruce. Top oh, yeah. That's and what. And maple that's what. side. Maple uh, yeah. side and back and uh, rosewood fretboard. Honestly, it, obviously, they'll all be linked in the description box down below if yes. you want more. Uh, info on them, but the fit and finish on the guitar is just beautiful. The frets are uh, plexed, they're yeah. just perfectly made. That's a 12 inch radius. Tuners are proprietary to Sunberg, so is the trem, and that is the best trem system in the entire world. Like, this is the most stable thing possible. Uh, really good parts, really good pickups, plays like a dream, came set up like a dream. Uh, yeah. I don't know why we haven't played those guitars. <laughs> yeah. Also, finally, a guitar brand that doesn't ship their guitars with sevens or ah, eights. Ah, right, the, the gauge, string right. gauge. Yeah. These are actual strings. That feels good. Thank you, Duesenberg. Duesenberg's own strings, which are 10 to 50, they have different gauges Thank as well, you. but this is like the, the factory uh, gauge, which is awesome because that's exactly what makes most sense on like a scale length like this and i don't know it's just, it just feels you can great drop it, it just it feels, feels stiff, great and it's still really easy to play because of the great like really low action and the plaque yeah. um, frets it's just literally it plays itself it's the kind of that's the kind of string tension that allows you to have a really low action but at the same time be able to slide on it without fretting yeah that's uh, true because man. it's just really good tension that's and true. out of the box whether you yeah. want to thread e you know kind of or, or play slide or do whatever you want with that guitar it's yeah done yeah yeah it's a really good all-rounder gauge and and setup yeah as well so what i have here is the double cat which is a uh, an own shape this is not something you, another brand would do yeah uh, and that's really cool i i love it they have some like duesenberg has some other really creative own shapes yeah. as well the uh the star player is obviously like the the most standard or like traditional shape um this was People one of the first ones as well which uh, with the shape. rose some attention but uh they have some really cool offset shapes now and uh different pickup configurations on the different guitars I like double cuts on the joe walsh um mm. they have like the full hollow which is like a, a 335 yeah, yeah. sized guitar but again a very different shape and wow. different specs as well and full hollow yeah uh, unlike a 335 so they have so many different shapes. I took this because I really like the shape. That's the only reason. And, so, and I love flat top guitars. Yeah. I just got used to it. No sh curve, no shape, anything. It's a it's a tally kind of experience to, so. to have this under your arm and to play it. I love that. Many don't, many love the, uh, the comfy curves. Yeah. I couldn't care less. I just that said, absolutely yeah, love it. You don't get the comfy curves on that one. It's not flat top for sure. And like you do get the round it's like, like kind a, of thing here. It's a famous like, single cut guitar. That's it. But uh, it's even rounder because the, the back side, if you show it, yeah, uh, the is also is. arched. Because these are like uh, laminate um, woods, but like on a 335 and semi hollow yeah. guitars anyhow. Um, and it's, it's uh, arched on both ends, yeah. like the top and the bottom, which the top is spruce on that one and uh, maple on the sides and, and back, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. I think maple may be older. If we're mistaken. Might be older, but check the, check the, the specs. Link. And with this guitar, it's a little different because um, this is not a semi hollow, it's a chambered guitar. So yeah. it does have a, a sound hole. And it does sound really loud acoustically, but it doesn't have that warm, big tone as that. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of a, yeah, more of a spanky sound, but a really nice one. Uh, and this doesn't have laminate, um, like semi-hollow kind of specs. Mm. These are solid wood uh, pieces, like the top and the bottom and whatever, but it's heavily chambered. Mm. So um, yeah, it's just a different thing. Uh, still maple neck and rosewood board, same specs. Otherwise the same pickups, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, same. yeah, yeah. Same hardware and uh, the same 12 inch radius, same rosewood board, etc. cetera. Um, let's let's uh, play some crunched up tones and then uh, get into, like I, I didn't explain myself on my end. You told why, you just don't know why we didn't play why. them. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few few thoughts about it, but let's, uh, let's play a little before that. Thank 
All the cats. Nice. And it's still in tune. Sure. Nice. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's um, it's an interesting story. So I have uh, more experience with using my guitars than Guillaume because I was working in the Tuman shop, like with customers and repaired stuff and set up stuff and also helped out in sales, which means that I, I had these guitars in my hands a couple of times, not like I a million times, but <laughs> he had the poster. I had, the, <laughs> I had those around who wanted to try these. I wanted to know about these guitars. So I had to obviously, you know, know something about them and um, every time I picked one up whether it was in the showroom or uh, came from the warehouse to check out and buy and whatever they were all set up perfectly they all f that like you know they had nothing about them that you would want to maybe point out or criticize mm -hmm. or like question or whatever it's ridiculous the quality the consistency and uh, how how like same all these guitars are mm. like there's no weak point no. no like oh oh that's not that good so let's take maybe another one it's like you can trust these guitars which was uh, very impressive the only thing i didn't like about them and that's just very much subjective like it's it's not a critique at all it's a personal thing is that i like thicker necks that's the main thing really yeah. uh, these are not like ibanez thin but they're like 20 or 21 millimeters, uh, the first fret, I think, and 20 something and the 12, which is a perfectly, like the kind of neck most people will want. Yeah. I kind of like it more of a, a thicker C. So I gravitate towards guitars, guitars that have that. Mm. And uh, most of the Duesenbergs will have this profile, which is again, super comfortable. So, you know, it's not, not a critique. Yeah, I'm fully okay it's with just that a thing. It's, it's just, you know, preferences. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for that reason, I never really felt like, oh, I, I, I choose that guitar if I can choose anything. Does that make any sense? It's, yeah, it's, no, it's a I bad, it. uh, you know, um, I, I, I get it. Explanation, I get it. It's, but a, it's a bad I explanation of me to be like, than me to be, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I like I just didn't have an opinion on them. Like, but I mean, for what it's worth, the neck profile, as much as it's too thin for you, is definitely good enough for me. Like, and I like the way that it tapers to like become a little bit thicker. Yeah, it's it's perfect up here. Up. Yeah, like, it's, it's just, just a little really, really too really deep nice. for me here. Yeah. But come on, like it's so easy to play. It's just a, a mind sure. trick, right? And the other thing is that I prefer guitars with nitro finishes. They just feel different yeah, on right. their fingers. That's right. They age, which is something I love about guitars, that they get knocks and d dings and dongs and crackles and whatever. These will probably not for a very long time. And that's good. And most people, again, want bet. will want that. <laughs> <laughs> he could make it happen <laughs> within five minutes. <laughs> no, uh, the thing is that uh, that makes more sense of course, having a, a PU, like a polyurethane finish, because it just, your guitar will look pretty for as long as possible. Um, I like guitars that age. So these two things are the only things that made me sort of gravitate towards other guitars. Uh, but to be honest, I'm such a fool. I'm really digging it. Yeah. Uh, I'm, also, I'm also very impressed by the pickups, because that's usually oh. a point that I tend to criticize a lot for brands that are making the whole like they're everything in house. Yeah. Very few of them do everything right. Yeah. Okay. Good point. You know, yeah, like point. it's like the hardware is spot on. Ridiculous. Again, again best that strum system. Is, like, well, whatever down. they call it, di diamond, I think. Yeah. The diamond. Yeah. Uh, Vibrola. I don't know what they're called. Uh, it's in the description down below, but they're awesome. There's a really incredible trim setup. Yeah. Tuners are good. Hardware is good. Like that's the actual natural like post type bridge. Uh, everything is just spot on, uh, but yeah. I have to give the pickups a shout out because that's always a weak part of like home brown, like homemade kind of instruments. You get like good quality stuff. Sometimes you might want to change the pickups yeah, and the electronics yeah. because I mean that's know, the most you, subjective part of a guitar. To, anyhow. Exactly, yeah. you kind of have to cut corners at some point, and like pickup manufacturing is vastly different from hardware manufacturing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So or woodworking, but yeah. in like right now. The just the noise level on that P90, for example, even with like
That's a lot of fuzz. That's the hoof fuzz yeah. into an overdrive. Into an overdrive, and the fuzz is maxed out. And a like, P90, which is the noisiest type of pickup In the ever. next position. It's just like, you know, Wow, it's uh, a good. It's a. Those are good pickups. You, if you go into that guitar for the looks of it, and you're like, yeah, even if it doesn't sound like, it sounds. Like yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah, you don't. You don't have the feeling like these are generic pickups that are supposed to please everyone yeah. in a way. But you probably want to go in a certain way and swap them. They are just too clear and like sort of balanced sounding to find anything about them that's not appealing. It's a um, humbucker from P90 is the way to go for it, anyone who it's might want. It's the it. best combination. Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay, uh, let me give you some high gain fuzzy kind of tones because yeah. uh, you kind of did that, I didn't. I did. And then uh, maybe we can uh, wrap this thing up. Yeah. 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 Or, or maybe we don't. Maybe we just keep on playing. <laughs> It's okay. I, I'm not John Mayer. <laughs> also, Nobody's, he would never no use a fuzz. No. He would. Yeah, okay. Sure he does. Does he? In his free time, probably. <laughs> three times in his life. Three times, probably. yeah, of course. <laughs> All righty. Uh, by the way, John Mayer, he also uh, played at least one time uh, Duesenberg. Yeah, uh, there was yeah. A, there was a show or like a, a, a gig. I've seen pictures. And a like, lot of... Hello. A whole lot of, uh, whole, lot, whole lot of people have like you see them on stage quite a bit yeah like it's rarely associated as like uh, except for obviously yeah there so, are some signature then, models you know, signature yeah. models and everything the Johnny model. it's like yeah yeah i've seen him play that but he's that guy like the tally guy or he's the yeah. thing guy it's yeah. like yeah he's played with one but that was it yeah. it's like yeah. Yeah, but they're still everywhere, though. Everywhere, yeah. <laughs> like, for uh, good reason. <laughs> Joey Landreth and the Landreth brothers. Yeah, um, absolutely. His yeah. brother plays a Duesenberg bass, yeah. and Joey plays, uh, I think, a 12-string Duesenberg he has. Maybe. Uh, I've seen him playing a Duesenberg as well. It's These are great guitars, and they are all over the place for a good reason. Yep. Um, you let us know what you think about the sounds you've heard and Duesenberg guitars. Have you ever tried one? Um, if yes, how do, you, how do you like the neck and the, the tones and everything? Um, I think they're really unique, having this modern perfection, uh, Germany style, yeah. but with the retro looks and, and like really classy design, it's really cool. So if, uh, if you're watching, hello, Mr. Duesenberg, uh, <laughs> can I please this have This is a it, pretty please? color, please. Can, please? Can I will uh, make <laughs> videos with it. <laughs> All right, you guys, take it easy. See you down there in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and yes. ring the bell and yes. um, see you in Very the next sure. video. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.